Good afternoon, Nate and Ann. Here's your new Ember 191. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough. And like I said before, if you guys have questions, if there's anything I missed, you just let me know. It might be a little loud, I'm out in the shop, but I'll try to get everything covered. So you've got your dual 20 pound tanks up here with your regulator. Now you can set this for, sorry, for one or both tanks. I always recommend set it for one tank at a time, only open one tank at a time. That way you know if one tank runs out, you can switch to the other then. And that way you're not completely out of propane. So if you need to t switch it out, this wing nut up here twists off. Once you get it loose, this bar that holds them down pops loose, you can turn that, and then you can take each tank out individual. Don't forget you've got to disconnect it here and make sure that that gas is off. So up front, we've got the Versa coupler. So this is a fully adjustable coupler. Obviously you can see you can go anywhere that there's holes. Standard 2 5 16 ball. Seven way is gonna be up here as well. That's obviously where it goes in your truck. Nice thing on these, they put a little holder for it. So you've got somewhere to set it while you're waiting. Breakaway cable as well. So this uh, is gonna hook on to either, usually some people do it on the chain, some people do it as part of the weight distribution hitch. Just make sure that it's to a point where it's not gonna pull off um, while you're just in normal driving. So the other side of the box on yours is gonna be just storage. You can put additional batteries up here if you'd like. It is wired for it. Otherwise you've got just storage since all your batteries are going to be underneath the bed with that max solar package. The tongue jack is electric and that's all controlled on the driver's side right here. Super easy, just extend, retract. You've got your side camera prep here if you wanna add that at any point. We've got our docking station over here that I'll come back to. And then you've got your um, TPMS system, so tire pressure monitors, and your battery disconnect. So it's gonna be very important that you always do your battery disconnect when you are not using the camper. Um, your solar will still charge your batteries, but this way you don't have anything drawing off of those batteries. Obviously you got your big pass-through storage with light over here. There is a light on the docking station side as well, and that's a motion sensor light, so you don't have to fiddle with that. You do have your electric tank heater right here for your fresh tank. And then you've got um, your hot water bypass is gonna be here. Super easy, if you need to bypass the hot water heater when you're winterizing, you just flip that guy up. Dump station handles are right here with your um, black tank here and your gray tank down here. That actually, you gotta tighten that, but we'll have all that stuff taken care of. We uh, just brought it into the shop, so I wanted to get this video since I'm off tomorrow, make sure I got everything covered for you. We've also got your side solar on the right hand side corner of that dump station. You can hook up a little tripod or briefcase solar to that if you'd like. Um, quick connect hose fitting here. Hot water, you can use it as an outside shower, spray off. We've got basically a, a garden hose on here right now. Um, and then we've also got your uh, sanitized tank fill. If you're dry camping, you got all the configurations on that sticker, so you don't have to worry about that for your two valves. You've also got satellite cable auxiliary hookups here. Sorry about that, I was reading this wrong. That's actually your black tank flush. So this is gonna be your black tank flush. If you're hooking up to this, once you're done camping, you're gonna want both of your gate valves open and the cap off which is in the rear, I'll go over that in just a second, um, before you do that. So you're gonna wanna have your tanks drained, uh, your gate valves and the cap off of your dump station completely, and then go ahead and hook up to that guy. So your fresh tank um, and uh, fresh tank fill and city water connection is actually gonna be controlled by this guy and this hose right here. Let's see if I can focus that. So this hose or this fitting is gonna be for your city fill or fresh water connection when you've got it right here where it says tank fill and dry camp. So basically when you've got it to this position to the right, it's hooked up as city water. So you're not filling your fresh tank and you're bypassing that fresh tank. Um, which you can see, see if it'll focus. 
both of those, that green and that blue, both pointing to the outside, that's how you know you've got city water going and you're by bypassing that tank. So the sanitized winterized, this is gonna be where you're pumping antifreeze into. So you're gonna hook a hose up to this and uh, put that in your antifreeze tank or antifreeze uh, jug, turn your pump on, and then that's gonna cycle into your winterize if, when you're ready to do that. Otherwise, um, feel free. You can always look up a video or give us a call. We'd be happy to walk you through it. Okay, so another thing that point out is you do have a little hole here where you can run hoses and cables through. Sorry, this is in my way here. And that way you can still close your compartment. You've got two of those. All right. So while we're on this side, this is gonna be your outside, um, basically your furnace and water heater vent. So this is a Truma two-in-one system. I'm gonna go over that more in depth when I get on the inside and I can show you that control panel. You got your low point drains right here as well. And you've got a sewer hose tube um, storage underneath. So you've got manual stabilizers on this guy. So those are not load bearing. They're gonna be a little bit beefier uh, than your normal manual crank downs um, or your normal just arms that go straight down and hold it. So it still cranks down like this this is just uh, basically it's a travel safety chain to keep that foot up in any event so that it's not wobbling if it doesn't so it doesn't drop down or fall off or anything so when you crank that down it's going to go all the way down your foot's going to be flush there's going to be a separate stabilizer bar that goes up and down or as close to that as possible just to give you some extra stability next to our low point drains you've got your freshwater drain so that's going to be um, if you need to drain your fresh tank, you're good to go there. Here is the, uh, the Kurt individual off-road suspension. So that's going to be the same on each side. Okay. Let's loop around. All right, here is your shore power hookup. So that Furion cable is going to be what comes with the camper. This is where you're hooking in here, and it's going to hook up to your campsite. Um, and that's going to be what supplies you shore power uh, if you don't want to use your solar, which if you've got a campsite that you can hook up, I definitely recommend it. One other thing back here by the tires to note is you've got basically a built-in wheel chalk. So this unpins right here, and then that's gonna just fold out and tuck behind the tire, and then you can repin it, lock it in place. This is adjustable, so if you've got, you know, depending on where you're at on the tire, you can make that fit however you need to. In the back here is going to be our dump station. Um, so there's going to be a cap that's going to go over top of this. That's going to be what you have to open up. That's where you hook your black tank hose or your sewer hose to. Those valves up front, those are what you open up to uh, drain your tanks after you've got everything hooked up. Now I'm always going to recommend do your black tank first and then the gray tank. So you're going to do your black tank, gray tank. Once everything's empty, I'd say at that point, go ahead and do your black tank flush, um, and then even run some water down your uh, down your sinks, your P-traps, get a little bit of extra flush again after you do the black tank flush. So, second side of the manual stabilizers, there is one of these on each corner. They all function the same. Okay, we've got your spare tire mount back here. And that's gonna be super easy. We've got two lugs keeping it in place right now. You just pop those lugs off, tire comes off, swap it out as needed. You've got a two inch accessory receiver here too. Now that's gonna be a 250 pound rating. So if you've got a bike rack, storage tray, something like that, even a bumper grill, which you might not necessarily need, but you could put that there. You've got your ladder rack here so that's where that collapsible extendable ladder is going to hook onto to get onto the roof it is a fully walkable main roof as well as the slide roof you've got furion backup camera prep as well so that plate comes off wiring harness comes out um, and you basically you hook up the camera from there and you're good to go we've got the cargo door for the bunk area here as well and that's going to be with your main keys so both of the bunks, I'm sorry, yes, both of the bunks. Disregard me, I'm losing my mind today. 
the lower bunk, I'm losing my place because this is tall for me in the back. The lower bunk flips up and it locks into place up here. If you've got it in the up position or the down position, it's gonna sit on these two cleats. That's what gives it its bracing. So your sink cover, we've got the TPMS system in here and the bracket, this metal guy here is the bracket for the dinette table and I'll show you where that goes on in just a second. Back on the door side here, you've got your three burner, basically three, three flame griddle. So you can light all those individually as you want. And you could even do it where this is on high, medium, low, however you wanna do it. That slides in and out on a tray. You push these down to go in and out with that. You do have a little amber light in here if you need it, as well as two normal outlets. Now this is gonna be, this griddle is hooked up through your uh, propane tanks on the camper itself. So that hose is gonna come around and that hooks up to this LP quick connect here. If you have a normal gas grill, if you've got a quick connect fitting, you can hook it on right to that and use that too if you don't wanna use the griddle. You got a 110 fridge out here as well. For drinks while you're cooking outside, here's the other wheel chalk. So more up here, you've got a, uh, a spray nozzle or a hose hookup on this side as well. So you can hook up um, that quick connect on the other side right to here. You also have two standard outlets. So you've got another overflow drain here. So it's basically a, a bleed valve um, to let off pressure or any excess water. And now on this side, we've got our solar monitors. So this is going to be your uh, this is going to be your incoming solar, what your battery percentage is at, and um, how much you're taking in versus giving off. And then this is going to be the inverter, how much power it's inverting, um, battery, lights, plugins, so on and so forth. And then your solar remote, this is actually Bluetooth enabled, so you can hook your Bluetooth, Bluetooth up this with GoPower app, and you can check um, basically what kind of um, input output you're getting. Uh, all right, not sure where it kicked off my recording again, but I was going over the inverter control here, um, your GoPower, which is gonna be your solar monitor, and then you've got the uh, charge controller here as well, which is Bluetooth enabled. So you can hook up to that with Bluetooth on an app. I think it's just a go power app and then you can monitor that stuff from there. Now, if you hear some crinkling apologies in advance, uh, recording at this high quality at 60 FPS, my phone likes to overheat. So, um, I got an ice pack to keep her cool. All right. Now just inside the door, you got two outlets, two USBs, this light here, you've got that one on, and then there's a switch in the bathroom. That's going to be the on and off auxiliary for this ember light here. It's a, the bathroom one is just a toggle switch though. So you've also got, we're going to swing over right across. This is going to be the light for up by your bed. Those lights in there, I'll show you in a sec. There is a dimmer switch for that as well as two outlets and two USBs over here while I'm down this way. This is the bracket for that black arm I showed you that was in the box. That's gonna be for your dinette table. Uh, there is a almost a matching bracket on the underside of the table. You hook it to there, slide it into there, good to go. Um, and that's not for the main dinette, that's the additional one. Super easy, uh, extra table if you need it, otherwise you don't have to worry about it. So you've got your TV sound bar here um, so you can see digital display there. That's gonna be your radio and TV controls. Overhead storage, which that is all one compartment between all four of these. Um, I'll come back to this remote in a minute. We're gonna hit this before I open the bed. So this is gonna be the Euro style window. This is the skylight, I'm gonna back up for you. That's right above the bed. Now there's a couple uh, different configurations for that. You can see right in here, there's an extra slot in the middle. So if I go all the way with this and open it up, we'll use the middle one. You can 
open it all the way, lock it on each side with these twist knobs. It'll focus for me. Goodness. And one of those on each side, you can open it as far as you want. It can be straight up and down, no problem there. You can also open it, have it open a little bit here and lock it open with that middle track. Otherwise, the bottom is just fully locked. With that, you've also got a sunshade and a day screen that you can go either direction with, however you want, or leave that window all the way open and have a screen so that way you're still getting the airflow. All right, now, for the Murphy bed in the front, the sofa is a jackknife, so kind of like a futon. You're gonna lift, pull, and it's gonna lay flat, and then you just unbuckle right there, and that comes right down. So, that's one-handed. That comes up, this comes down, the bed comes up. Now, the mattress is a fold, so I'm not gonna unfold it just because for time's sake for you guys. So that unfolds and it lays flat. You can travel with this all the way down too. The phone's getting warm, hang on guys. Goodness. So sorry for this. Ooh. All right, you can travel with this down if you'd like. You've got lights up here. Those are controlled by that switch that I was showing you on the bottom left-hand side of the bed. You've got shelves on this side. You've got an emergency exit here. Now that's gonna open all the way up and opens the exact same way as that skylight. All of your windows are gonna open that way. So they're all super easy to use. Now coming back over here, we've got some stuff on here cause we're prepping it out. So it's not gonna be as perfectly pretty as I'd like it to be, but I wanted to get you this video as soon as I could. Um, so you've got your literature, everything is gonna come in that ember bag. You've got storage up above and individual lights. This table does make into a bed. Just like on that bunk, it's gonna sit on these back cleats. It unlatches back there um, and basically just lays down flat. It's, it's super slick. If anything, I'll try to get you a picture or another video on it um, a little later, as soon as I get a chance. So the left side is gonna be access. So magnetic catch, that's gonna be wiring access for uh, anything underneath your slide and that wheel well, which is sitting right there. That's why you've got that extra ground clearance. Let's set this down. Hang on one second. So there's magnetic catches that hold this in place and then it just pops right back on like that. Super easy. All right. This side is just storage. So that makes it really easy. It just opens up right there. Now over to the kitchen area. You got your stainless steel undermount sink, two burner cooktop on the inside, and that's just a trifold um, glass cooktop. Or not cooktop, I'm sorry. Um, cooktop cover. So that goes down and back over and snugs in like that. You can 100% um, travel with that down like this. Um, range hood uh, with vent and light. Super easy to control. Standard microwave here. Now it's not going to be as big as a residential, but it's going to get the job done for you plenty easy. All right. Storage in here. You've got a 12 volt GE fridge. So with that, all right, back to the fridge, 12 volt GE fridge. Now this is going to be, oops, sorry. No cooling fins in the back, so you've got the extra depth there. Um, glass shelves, you got to pull out down here, and equally large freezer. Now you can run with this, uh, run this while you're traveling down the road, but 100%, you've got to have this guy engaged. That's your travel lock, just to make sure that the doors don't open up, and you don't, because you don't want your stuff flying out of there. All right, now here's the other side of the bunks. Just like the others, you've got your Euro style windows. You've got two USBs and the light, which is blinding my camera on both sides. Curtains for privacy, should you need it. Porcelain stool, the new 2023 shower surround, which looks absolutely awesome. They've got the shower miser in here too. 
which is a really cool deal. When you've got this fitting engaged with this here, um, that's gonna make it so your water recycles while it gets up to temp. So you can turn your faucet on, it's gonna recycle the water. This fitting is gonna turn white once it gets warm or hot. And then you can go ahead and turn this on. You don't have to worry about water going down into your drain and filling up that fresh tank or wasting your fresh water if you're boondocking. Skylight for the extra height in here as well. And a 12 volt uh, power fan, multi-speed fan. And that can be turned on right here. It's gonna be this switch. So your other switches, this is gonna be your main light. This is gonna be your main light. This is that toggleable toggleable amber light switch. Um, so there is one here in the bathroom. I'm gonna hit that switch, boom, super easy. And then back on it goes. This is gonna be your accent lighting for that vanity. So with that, you do have storage in here as well and storage underneath the sink as well as your access for your P-trap. Towel holder, super easy. Um, same window as everywhere else and storage across from the stool with a toilet paper holder. All right, we're gonna go back in again to the main area. So aside from the outlets, which are right here, We've got a fire extinguisher, more outlets here, as well as a dimmer switch. This dimmer switch is for your main, um, I'm sorry, these are for your, out. this dimmer switch is for your outside access, or outside accent lighting, so your step light. We're gonna come up, spend a little bit of time on here. I'm gonna pause, cool off my phone, and jump into this guy. All right, back into it. So this is gonna be your main control panel. Super easy, super intuitive. Ceiling lights, awning lights, water pump. You've got step lights here and more accent lighting here. This is how you can connect your Bluetooth to this so you can run all this stuff off of there. Awning and slide out controls. And this is a dimmer switch for your main lights. Now this is gonna be for your Truma. Uh, basically it's a three in one system at this point. So you've got your Truma combi, uh, water heater and furnace, and then the Truma Aventa um, air conditioner. So this can all run off of your uh, your solar. So when you've got this panel engaged, the left one, the camper symbol, that's gonna be whether you're on heat or AC. So if I go to AC and then I can turn it on to cool, and then you can set your temp, then you go all the way over and you can set your fan speed, and then it's gonna kick on all right here. While that's, so that's the easy way. Let me turn that back off to low at least. This middle one is going to be whether you're running it on gas, a mixture of gas and electric, more electric and still gas, or just electric. So electric low and electric one and electric high and electric two. So it's basically using more so that you can run more stuff off of that. So I'm going to put it back to where we had it. So this middle one here is going to be your water heater control. So you're going to tap it. So you have to basically, when you hover over something, you're gonna tap it, change what you want. So you've got eco, hot, or boost, which is gonna run it off of basically to get it as hot as it can, as quick as it can. So I'm gonna turn that back off. And then whenever you make a selection, so if I go to off, you have to tap again to confirm your selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the AC off, or I'm gonna go AC all the way to off. Same thing if I was going with the heater, you click, and then off, and then you set your temp. Now, some of these other settings, these are gonna be your your settings. I, I haven't gone too crazy on these, so I don't wanna um, I don't wanna I don't wanna give you any bad info on that. This clock is literally just setting the time. And the one on the left, you can actually set a schedule for your AC furnace, all that kind of stuff. So, but that's all stuff I'm gonna let you guys do on your own. Now over to this AC while we've got it. Um, these are going to change your, your direction here on each side and this is going to change whether or not it's closing it off, blowing it down, or blowing it straight out. The middle one is going to change how much airflow is going in each direction. So if you want to cool off your bed, boom, 
cooling off your bed a lot faster. Cool off your bunks, vice versa. In the middle is gonna be more equal spread. This is gonna be the IRV for the remote because that remote is actually gonna be able to control all of that stuff we were just going over. And that's actually gonna do just about it on this walkthrough. I'm gonna go back outside one last quick look at the front here. And if you've got any other questions, you let me know. I'm happy to help anytime or get any information that you guys need. And again, my name is Zach, in case you ever forget. Thank you guys so much, and enjoy your new Ember.